there are five strategies that ODM is applying eh, currently to maintain the support that they have been enjoying in Western region for the long time they have been existing. But before I highlight these five strategies, I'm kindly requesting you please to subscribe to this channel so that you get notifications once we have a new video out. And on this platform, we only analyze politics, really. Now, the strategy number one that ODM is applying eh, is the strategy of using Governor Oparanya and the CS Eugene Wamalwa. Ile timu mdavaja alikuwa naita the Kajado Skycrow. That is the first strategy ODM is using. They dispatched this team led by Oparanya himself to go around consolidate support for ODM county by county where they were having social hall meetings with the residents trying to consolidate them behind the power of ODM leadership. Whether this strategy is working or not, it is something we have to give it time. Because they moved from every corner and you can see the reaction on the ground. Now, what is the second strategy the ODM party is using? It is the dispatch of Senator Cleopas Malala and, C and Secretary General of ODM, Edwin Sifuna, together with Godfrey Osothi. And how did this Godfrey Osothi and Malala team came to exist? Now, listen careful. When the first strategy was dispatched, there was a lot of criticism that was happening across the social medias, they were saying that Oparanya and the team had decided to go and recycle the old leaders. It was a group of old politicians who were being brought back into the lame line of politics. When they brought in someone like Muskari Kombo and the team, you can remember, before Wokoli and the other ones, a lot of youths were criticizing this team and in real sense you, should, you could have realized that they were trying to associate with these moves. That's why they brought in Malala who came in with another strategy that they are calling the Western Region Youth Movement. And they have called this one the third force in Western politics. Now, on social media and uh, the mainstream media, you will see people are saying three fractions now divided in Western region politics. Actually, in real sense, these are not three fractions. They are just two fractions. It is just a branch of the fraction of ODM that they have come out with, such that they can consolidate the youth to rally behind ODM. Because in real sense, if you check, you are going to realize that eh, there is nothing in terms of presidential election Jubilee got in Western region. They failed terribly. So the stronghold here remains in the hands of Musalia Mudavadi and eh, Raila Odinga. These are the two people fighting on the ground. There's nothing like the other group they are saying, four, four groups. Because they are saying there is Oparanya group, there is Eugene group, not Eugene, sorry, there is a Malala group, there is Mdavadi Wetangula group, and there is the other team of Tangatanga. Those are not the fraction, they are just only two fractions. So whether the Malala team is going to succeed or not is something we are going to give it our time. But you could saw how youth were bashing someone like Osothi. They were saying Osothi is one, a person who has never helped any youth. When ANC got a chance to nominate people, the youth were saying that he used that time to nominate himself, to nominate his mother-in-law and his girlfriend. 
Whether it's true or not also, I don't know. So we are waiting to see if this strategy is going to work. Now, strategy number three is the use of five governors across the counties. And how are they using these five governors? Through the influence of governors to influence the commissioners, county commissioners, so that they can disrupt any political rally or move organized by individuals like Musalia Mdavadi and Moses Masika Wetangula. And uh, to some extent, they have been succeeding in this one. Because if you remember when Wetangula tried to get back home, when he had a homecoming after the issues in Ford Kenya, there were a lot of tear gases, they blocked people, they could not reach his home. You remember what happened in Injendi Malulu's home? A lot of tear gas in compound. But Mdavadi revealed yesterday that he called Matiangi on the same issue and they asked him why. Matiangi told him very openly that this one is not an order from the office of president. This era, and he came to conclude that these are just governors giving orders to count commissioners who dispatch police to go and tear gas in a meeting that is being organized with any ally supporting Wetangula and Musalia Mdavad. Now, we are going to strategy number four. The strategy number four that this team is using is the coup that were organized to happen in Ford, Kenya and ANC. And to some extent, this team actually it was succeeding in Ford Kenya. But later, through the court, Wetangula tried to manage to control the party, and they are waiting to see the outcome of the court ruling. So that strategy also it was applied in ANC when Savula came out. <laughs> and decided to ashamed the group that was telling him to take over ANC with the help of the people they were going to dispatch from ODM. So that one failed terribly. Now, we are waiting to see if they will also succeed. Because also in the same, in the same scenario, the same people were were calling ANC followers, the people who had decided to stand with Musalia Mdavad and uh, Senator Wetangula, they were calling them Tangatanga -tanga actually in real sense. They tried to name them Tangatanga, -tanga, but this one came out differently. Since ANC came out clearly and said that they are going to be with anyone who is willing to support the presidential candidate of ANC, whether it's Ruto, whether it's even Raila, whether it's Uhuru, whether it's Kalonza, anyone. So they are ready to work with anyone as long as that person is going to support Musalia Mdavadi presidency. That's why they were using strategy number five to label anyone Tanga Tanga as long as that person is not supporting ODM. And they called it handshake. Actually, this is not handshake. Because already Wetangula and the Mudavad had declared their support for Handshake. They declared their support for BBI. But still, these people were saying they were not loyal. They were... Actually, they wanted them to support the moves of ODM agendas in the Western region. Now, whether these five strategies are going to work or not is something we are going to give it time to see if these strategies are going to work. But in the meantime, we have some issues that are working, but some, most of them are not working. But we are going to give it time. And we will be back here to analyze whether these strategies used are working or not. Because, you see, Wetangula was saying that there was a time at all named Musalia Mdavad as the kingpin of Mulembe nation. And then he challenged that Atwoli, even after naming Mdavad, then you come out with another team that you are calling the spokesman of the Luya nation. 
So I said Mdavad was one. Now you bring a team of two plus yourself, it is three. Meaning, for you to manage Mdavad alone, you come three. So we are waiting to see. Now, in the next video, I'm going to analyze how Musalia Mdavadi is managing to counter this team that has been dispatched to deal with the moves and reduce the popularity of ANC and Ford Kenya in Western. So in the next video, I will analyze how Mdavadi and Wetangula are dealing with these issues. So thank you for watching and please, I'm reminding you kindly, subscribe to our channel. If you have any comment, you can leave us with that comment. And if you have any other strategy that you feel that these people are using, kindly leave in comment section. Thank you for watching and that's our view here.